Um, as as far as to the change circumstances um, question, um, with with uh, well, first, as a matter of just, um, I know opposition replies to to our comments with regard to the video game console had suggested that um, we should be barred from bringing such a petition because it had been denied in the past. And as a matter of course, I want to point out that there are no pseudo standing kind of threshold issues at play with regard to this 1201 hearing. Um, it's not in the statute, it's not in the legislative intent. And so I just think as a matter of course that that's, um, you know, it's just not in, in keeping with what this hearing is about. Congress intended for these reviews to happen every three years because it understood that technology changes quickly and um, the context and circumstances of our understanding of when an exemption might be necessary could change with those times. Now, to the extent that it's um, something that the librarian would want to consider under the fifth factor of the 1201 statutory um, analysis with regard to video game consoles, there have been significant changes since the 2018 um, review. Most notably, um, one of the reasons that the video game console exemption was denied in 2018 was because of the um, availability of official repair channels. And I know that Mr. Williams had kind of gotten into this a little bit, but the, the facts there simply aren't true. Um, in 2019, Microsoft announced that it was no longer going to repair devices that it didn't have in active production. And the Xbox 360, the Xbox One, the Xbox One X um, can no longer be repaired through Microsoft. So there are no official warranty repair options or even outside of warranty repair options with regard to many of these consoles. So consumers have no choice but to either buy a completely new console or to, you know, just throw it out basically. Um, then as far as like other things that have changed, I think with regard, not just to video game consoles, but with regard to all devices, um, when it comes to the necessary, um, the necessity of repair, you know, over the last 13 months, our understanding of global supply chains and the availability of devices has definitely, um, shown that it's much more vulnerable than we could have possibly believed before, not just um, from COVID, but you know, our, our relationships with China when it comes to trade and the recent incident in the Suez Canal um, demonstrate that our ability to get devices, new devices when we need them, and to get even um, you know, official repair parts, et cetera, can be significantly challenging. And when it's, you know, when there's a crisis at hand, it's really important to be able to repair what we have, um, given some okay. of the increased concerns. Sure. Thank you, Ms. Burke. I, 